Well, the late summer hiatus is going to be drawing to a close for the Eugene City Council. And when they go back to work after Labor Day, one of the first issues will be an update on the West Eugene wetlands and the search for a replacement industrial land. Well, I think it's out there. The key question is to make sure what we do is consistent with you know, an overall plan. Uh, we need to survey all of our needs. So what we're trying to do is to kind of fast track looking at the whole metropolitan area, ways of bringing in more industrial land to make up for the wetlands loss. Mayor Jeff Miller says they'll hear a staff progress report on September 11th. There are 765 acres of potentially regulated wetlands in the West Eugene area, which could diminish future business development. Oregon State Fair officials say they hope the final attendance count for this year will reach 800,000 people when the fair closes at 10 tonight. As of last night, almost 734,000 people had attended. That compares with about 724,000 during all of last year's fair. Yesterday, almost 83,000 people filled the state fairgrounds, and if this total, 84,379 people go through the gates today, the fair will set an all-time attendance record. Looks like last year's mad scramble for student housing at the University of Oregon is not going to happen this time around. Business manager Ron Tendick of the Campus Housing Department says there's room for all freshmen who want to stay at residence halls. He says the waiting list for non-freshmen is only 40 people. We have a search hotel for uh, students uh, looking for off-campus housing, and also we have a rental information office that provides postings or listings uh, of rentals that are available. And indications from them are that uh, people seem to be uh, finding housing rather quickly this year, and there just doesn't seem to be the general panic uh, that uh, we experienced last year. Tendick says the cap on university enrollment is the biggest factor in lessening the pressure. However, he could not say what effect the latest fire code violations that a dozen fraternity houses might have. The Eugene Fire Department has slapped enforcement letters on the frat houses and on one student co-op. 